Hi everyone and welcome to this month's global monthly video hop. It's everything but a card and today I'm doing memory keeping. So I know today's project is probably one that maybe people haven't seen in the catalogue or have looked at and dismissed. Um, most people that I know are um, familiar with scrapbooking if not having dabbled in it themselves so today that's what I'm doing but using in the annual catalogue um, if we turn to the back a page 136 and here we are memories and more so being a scrapbooker from way back the memories and more was something that was intriguing to me and I didn't actually take the plunge until recently um, long story short, I had bought the Basic Black album. Um, I had bought some of the variety pack, um, which is the, the sleeve that you put the inserts into. And I did have a collection of the Memories and More card packs, which I have used often in um, making cards rather than using this um, system. So today we are doing, today is the day Memories and More pack. I'm just going to pop these out to show you some of the things that you get in here. So here is my pack. Now I do take it apart and then put it into a separate sleeve. It's just easier that way. You get these slightly smaller cards. All the cards are double sided. They do have a color theme. So for example, it will tell you, I think it tells you in, yes, tells you in the catalog what colors so let me just bring the catalog back in to show you so uh, for this one we have um, calypso coral daffodil delight garden green gray granite mint macaron and pale papaya which of course a couple of those are retiring so this is a great opportunity to use up some of the retiring colors as well so not only does it have the smaller cards which are great in our inserts, and I'll show you that in a moment. But um, each pack has this set of cardboard stickers. So this is an example of one, not one that I'm going to use today, but they just peel off and stick straight on. This one here has a lot of sort of uh, calendar or yearly themes, um, yearly and weekly. And then these again are the four by six double-sided, and there's lots and lots and lots. Let me show you what I am dabbling with today. So here's my album, okay? Um, I'm putting in this album a variety of different layouts, um, all using those inserts. So the inserts themselves, you can get, this one here is a full size insert. So that is a, ooh, let me see, it is a six by eight, something like that. So yeah, you get you get the bigger sleeve. You then also get these sleeves, which have your um, four by six, and then your two half sizes of that. Um, and you get a couple of those, and then you get the the four. Okay. So I actually have two full sets. Now these are really really good value for the amount that you get. So each one obviously is double sided, but today we're gonna to do a bit of a process video. A process video is just showing you how I put one together. So here is the collection that I've gone through. The first thing you're gonna ask me is, what have I printed my photos on? So in Australia, I know um, recently, I have been using the instant print at um, Kmart, fabulous. But today I wanted to get some um, photos printed off very quickly that I didn't have and exempt in the right size. So I am using my Canon Selfie. So a very, very simple little system that's very portable. Um, I originally bought it to go to my brother and sister-in-law's wedding. We actually took a whole heap of photos um, on our good camera and edited them the night, um, the, you know, the next morning after their wedding and then printed a whole heap off for them. So. It's actually their daughter that is um, featuring, my niece is featuring in today's project. So let me pop this one to the side. This is a little wireless thing that comes with cartridge of um, paper and the inks and everything. Very, very quick and simple to use. I'll just pop it to the side. Now I have pulled out two sleeves that I am going to use because I'm going to do a double layout. 
So this is it here. So I'm going to have the four and then the larger and the two smaller. Let me show you. Here's some of my photos um, of her. This is Harley, my niece. Um, so this main photo was a four by six photo, but I have trimmed it back um, just so that it has a small border around the outside. So I'll show you that shortly. So it's going to go here. So this is probably the most important part of putting these together is playing with what you're going to do first before sticking it all together. And today I'm going to show you some hints and tips on how to put things together. So you've got some hidden journaling and things like that. Um, my lovely sister-in-law and my niece, my brother and my niece. So I'm going to make a, a page that's got quite a lot of photos on it. Then I'm going to have these two photos, which um, I think I will have this way perhaps. And these are just two of her, um, one at Christmas. Oh, both actually at Christmas, just gone. So here's some of the pages that I have pulled out to start playing with. Not definite which ones I'm going to use yet. So I've got the little floral one. I've got one that is striped. These are full size ones and that's okay because I can cut them down. A floral with a white background. Um, so these are some of the stickers. So I'll put them aside and I'll explain to you in a minute. I have got a black and white. Love everything about you. That's a possibility. Life is short. It's up to you to make it sweet. Every day is an adventure. So very happy. Great one because there's some journaling space. Some plainer ones as well. And some more stripes. So today is a good day to smile. Um, another journaling one. I like to have my journaling hidden. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that today. Um, so... Just very quickly, I'm going to leave some of these here. Here are the stickers. So these are the stickers that um, I've kind of pulled out of the pack. There's usually four or five sheets of stickers. Um, and I'm going to use some of these elements here. I'll probably put in um, perhaps one or two of these. Um, she believes she could, so she did. One of my favorite sayings. Um, and then some little, fl again, floral elements that will match beautifully with the papers that I've chosen. Um, and then what I really like is sort of these tabs here to add in. Now, what I really love about this is it also means I can coordinate with some of the elements from um, Stamping Up. So you'll probably see, I'm going to fast forward very soon, but you will see me um, adding some stamping, adding some die cut elements just to make this whole layout come together. So join me on my creative process. Hopefully I inspire you for a few things. What I'll probably do is you'll watch me and then at the end I'll explain how I've put together some of the interactive elements. So you can see that I'm trimming back a couple of these photos. Um, this is to enable me to um, add a matte border using cardstock. So I am using the coordinating colours for Memories and More of Calypso Coral and Mint Macaron. One of these uh, photos here that I'm banner cutting on the bottom is actually going to be an interactive element. It's going to be a lift up hidden journaling section. Like I said before, I don't like hidden, I don't like having journaling um, visible. So I'm going to cut it um, three inches wide and then I'm going to score it at four inches, fold it and trim it back so that it actually will sit um, on that little panel quite nicely. Then once I've glued that on, I'm actually going to um, doctor up a little bit on um, these insert sheets, as you can see in a moment. So they are accessible only from one side. But to fix that, because I wanted it accessible from the other side, I'm just going to cut a slit um, very carefully so I don't break um, the um, inside or outside um, borders, but so that I can insert it. So you can see I've just trimmed it back ever so slightly and taken the excess away to make it easier. It's still sturdy enough to um, withstand people opening and closing it, um, but it means that that um, flap can be lifted and the journaling can be hidden inside and it actually gives you extra journaling space as well. So I'm going to delve into some of my stickers um, now that I'm putting my um, layout together and what you'll notice when I am in 
this creative process is I actually flip from left side to right side um, often. I don't just create one side and then the other and I just find that helps with the balance. So like I have already created um, a hidden journaling section, I'm going to do it again with more Calypso coral cardstock and I'm going to take my 4x6 photo which I've trimmed back ever so slightly and then I'm going to um, add a border, a mat that I'm using my cardstock that is slightly higher, um, which you can see I've scored and folded under so that that creates a flap for me to lift, which I will um, pop on with double-sided tape so it sits on the plastic, not on the card that sits behind. And I'm going to grab one of those stickers. Um, I like to have lots of text in my... Um, layout that because I have the hidden journaling the text seems to balance it out and it's got some nice quotes and things you can use in that sticker set that makes it easy and having one large photo in a layout that has um, a part of the photo that's kind of blank means that you can add that text as well. I am adding some more of the smaller cards in there some of them with text some of them without and you can see me using some of those word stickers um, as well to add elements. What's lovely is all the little um, like branches, flowers, leaves, um, all those little stickers that um, can be added in on top of your photos as well. And kind of the point is, is to add in as many layers as you can with but keeping it fairly flat. And that's where the stickers um, and just matting things um, come in handy. There was this really lovely little quote that I wanted to add, but I didn't want a big black um, card in the middle of my layout because it is black and white. So it does tend to have enough black and white anyway. So I'm going to um, trim it down and just add it to a striped section and then it just looks like it should have been there. So for, back to the other um, lift the flap with the banner photo on the front, I'm just adding some more um, of that cut down cardstock um, so it does match and I'm just adding that in there. Later on at the end of this video I will come back and do a walkthrough of my page one more time just um, to talk you through all the hidden elements and you'll see the journaling in, in that final section as well or at least some of it. Um, so I have used some die cuts here you'll see some um, floral or nature die cuts that I've used and you do get to use a mix of double-sided tape and glue in these, um, these types of projects. So adding the layers, some inside the pocket, some on the outside of the pocket, some with a lifter flap for um, journaling, it all creates those layers and that interactive feel to uh, um, one of these. So it's not just a flat um, throw things in a plastic sleeve, kind of feel to um, an album. It does um, have interest and it does have texture as well, which we know with our cards, that's what makes them extra special. Um, just adding in a couple of little more stickers in here and I'm almost finished. So less I've got that lift the flap there. To make it sit more sturdy, I'm going to add another um, of the larger cards, which I will trim back. And I did play with a couple of them just to see what would fit. Um, trying to keep in that, that colour theme of Calypso Coral and Mint Macron. Um, and I've trimmed them a little bit further back um, so that they will um, fit on top of that floral background um, without completely covering it. Um, here we go. So that I've ch finally chosen a card um, and I'll trim it back just ever so slightly and that's going to go on with double-sided tape. Again, plenty of room for journaling on here. Um, I love the fact that, you know, people can look through my albums without necessarily reading all of the journaling because um, sometimes journaling is very personal. Um, what I do like to do with my journaling though is um, I'm not a fan of my own handwriting. Um, not many people are. So I do tend to type it out and then cut it into strips and glue that on. So again, that's another layered element um, that I do quite like. And of course, you can match um, the colour of your text using your hex codes um, from Stamping Up as well. And that's what I really like, you know, like everything coordinates perfectly. 
um, using a strip border um, element as well to add into that flap. And of course that flap sits up as does the other one. So that's quite tricky to keep your album as flat as possible. And I'll show you a little trick shortly where you can actually cut a circle um, to hold down that, that bigger flap so it sits flatter. But I have taken um, um, a retired um, tag die. I think it's retired now. And I'm just gonna cut a tag that will sit behind that every day is an adventure card. Again, another um, semi-hidden journaling tag that you can add things to it. I'm gonna use my trusty backup um, ribbon element, which is the white seam binding with um, my coordinating color of mint macaron um, in the stamp and blend. And I just run that across so that I can um, customize the color of the ribbon and add it to my tag. And that's just gonna sit above and probably sit out of the album just a little bit, but nothing that's gonna be too intrusive or get caught on anything. Um, yeah, so this is kind of it. I, here is where I've added this circle element. I'm gonna staple it down just to hold it fast, um, a little bit more, a bit more secure onto those plastic sleeves. And that's about it. Thanks for joining me and hope you find some hints there. Thanks again for joining me this month, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the memory keeping side of Stamping Up. Please like, follow, comment, subscribe, whatever um, for this video and don't forget to pop on over to the other team members as well. Until next month, see ya.